which also is a similarity in terms of black freedom struggle within, within the United States. You have Dr. King, uh, you have a faction of SNCC who are committed to nonviolence as a way of life. So oppressed people always seem to form, you know, kind of similar ide ideologies uh, and commitments. And we'll get on uh, Palestinian uh, resistance and nonviolence here when, we, uh, when I show a video briefly. But we also met with people uh, in the popular front for the liberation of Palestine. How many have heard of PFLP? Okay, a couple. But they're, uh, they're the, uh, the Marxist-centered uh, revolutionary socialist uh, wing, I would say, of the Palestinian uh, freedom movement. And so we had the opportunity to be in one of the leaders' homes while we were there. And so one of the people that we talked to mainly had just gotten home from prison and was on a hunger strike while he was uh, incarcerated. And uh, unfortunately, uh, his brother, uh, before he had came home, was killed by the Zionist state. Uh, there was a, a, a Palestinian uh, uprising that took place, uh, and one of the IDF soldiers, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, shot and killed uh, his brother as he was on the hunger strike. Uh, he was a political prisoner. In fact, all Palestinian prisoners are political prisoners. Uh, and when we talk about the conversation of prisoners and prisons, uh, political prisoners, that's also a connection of black and Palestinian solidarity, because historically, Angela Davis, when she was incarcerated, she was a political prisoner. Guess who was writing her more than anybody? Palestinians, showing a sense of shared struggle, showing a sense of, of solidarity. Um, but also, I think it's important to include, uh, although I want to keep the conversation on Palestine, but I think this faction of resistance uh, that exists is important, is that we met with uh, a Jewish Israeli citizen who is refusing to serve in the IDF. So what I'm, what I'm trying to articulate here is that there are a growing movement within the state of Israel uh, that is seeking to uh, critique and resist against uh, the mainstream narrative of the country and is, is eager to resist uh, the occupation of Palestine. And so here we show a video of uh, uh, Israeli Jewish citizens that we had the opportunity to meet with. And the video speaks for itself, so I'm gonna stop talking.